back. Emergency podcast. This time we're talking playoffs, Lou. Uh, let's get it. Let's get yeah, it. Yeah, I know. Let's uh, before we introduce the two two faces here, new faces on the panel. We've actually got two more off screen that we're gonna get on to get their thoughts about the playoffs. But a uh, couple uh, uh, housekeeping things that Lou and I want to say. We are not the gatekeepers of the podcast. So although we appreciate the energy and wanting to get on the podcast, we're just the unpaid talent. Yeah. <laughs> go uh, go talk to the commission, get him uh, to agree to be on the show. And, uh, you know, we'll have you on just like these two guys. So uh, just quick introduction. Uh, start with you, Joe, and then go to you. I- All right. I'm Coach Joe. I'm uh, one of the general managers for the, uh, for the Golden State Warriors. And, uh, yeah. I'm glad to be on here and uh, give some insight on how the playoffs are going to look from my from my view. Look at this modest approach. I love it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Very professional. Coach, are you GM of the Wolves? I don't really talk too much, but I'll see you on the playoffs. You, That's uh, why we're here. You got other guys that do a lot of talking, so yeah. it's okay. <laughs> we know yeah. Ali. We know Ali. Well, you guys got a bunch. Uh, so before we get into the actual seating, there was playing games for the wild card. One of us on this uh, on this table right here, uh, Lou, had to play in that playing game. Yes, sir. Just give me a recap before we go into the actual seedings. Uh, it was a good game. It was a really good game. Um, I think our strategy was to uh, let them shoot, and even though that was a strategy, they still made it made it in made it uh, in the paint on us. And I think Harson had must have had like ten put back put back layups on us or something crazy like that. Like, but uh, we pulled through. Um, luckily, our, one of our guys got really hot. Nev. Or Nev, yeah, yeah, you know, shout out to Nev. Um, he showed up. It's been a while, but he showed up. And uh, that kind of pushed us over the edge, I think. Yeah, I mean, from someone watching it on the side, I thought you guys were going to choke that game away. Yeah, and it's as, close. As someone who's been in uh, some... <laughs> Choke artist games uh, recently. Yeah, it had it had yeah. that feeling. Of, yeah, uh, yeah, it was it was yeah. It was cl- yeah. it was a close game. Yeah, uh, but yeah, you guys pulled it through. You ended up being the eighth seed. Yep. So uh, I'm gonna quickly run through the matchups, and then I'm gonna get you guys to tell me what's your uh, which matchup you're you're most interested in watching. So we got uh, the first seed Blazers playing you guys Jazz. in the Jazz. We got the second seed Thunder uh, playing. The Hornets, who just gave us an ass whooping, <laughs> and then we got the uh, third seeded Sixers versus Suns. Yep. And then the four five matchup right here in uh, spotlight, Wolves. spotlight yeah, yeah. Wolves, Wolves Warriors. But so uh, maybe one team doesn't know how to play defense. One team's too <laughs> old to play defense. Is that what you're saying? Uh, uh, I'll I'll, uh, I'll let the uh, the audience decide which teams, okay. which those two two teams are, because I might be seeing them soon. But uh, <laughs> um, yeah, it's gonna be a good game. Probably high scoring. I'm kind of predicting like both teams mid well, we'll 60s, the, we'll early the, 70s, the, we'll, right? We'll save the predictions for later. Yeah, yeah for yeah, sure, yeah. for sure. Um, but I got I got the Suns edging out the Sixers in that game. Mm, so that's your favorite. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Joe, uh, which matchup are you um, looking forward to most in the quarterfinals? You so can say your I own. Think, no, to be honest, I wouldn't pick my own. To be honest okay. with you, um, I like actually all of them. But what I, me as a fan, if I was looking on the outside, what I'd want to see is. I'm a, but you already said from day one, my Cinderella team is the Hornets. I love that team. I like how they even trash talk about it. I just like the way they move. They're fast. They yep. Lots of shots. I predict them, like, you know, moving on along. And they look, they, I don't think they made top eight, right? They had a playing game. They had a playing, yeah. They came in. And so I'm really <clears throat> looking forward to watching. I may actually take time my day to watch that game. They play the yeah. Thunder, who I think is an extremely strong team. So I like that series. But I have to go with you over the, the it's exciting. That one and the Sixers and Suns would be a great, it's guard heavy. But uh, yeah. I'm definitely looking forward to see the Cinderella team Hornets uh, play their series against the Thunder because, um, yeah, they've been, they almost took us out. I just see the way they play as a, yep. as a strong team to go far and, and it'll be a good series to watch. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yep. absolutely. Well, I actually didn't think anyone was going to say that. But yeah, our matchup versus the Hornets, yeah. I think that's the game. Although the Sixers, Suns are going to be fun to watch, yeah. I think there's, on me personally, going through the last game of the season, uh, and getting handed that ass whooping by the Hornets. Yeah. I think there is uh, also a psychological play that I'm curious to see how our young I, I guys do I didn't want to reference to that. I was actually... <laughs> no, no, I'll that say it. I'll, I'll say it. A 40, a, 40, a 40 piece is a 40 yeah, piece, exactly. regardless when it comes. I, we can flip the seedings now. Yeah. You know? Well, like I don't that. think... Well, here's the thing, too. That team's not a really a, a 7C team. If Archu and if that crew is there and Archu's healthy yeah. the entire season, mm-hmm. 
uh, they're not a seventh seed. They're probably what? Top four for sure. Two, top yeah, four. they're probably yep. top four. So, but I'm curious to see how our young guys handle that, how they bounce back um, and like rebound after that game. Because that was the first and only time all season long we didn't like, we had no heart. It was a yeah. quick little 10, 10 minute run and then that was it. We were, we were out of the game no matter yeah. what happened. So I'm curious to see how we re- rebound from that. So I, I actually think that's the game that uh, is most exciting to watch. No, you're right. That is the game. Because you guys are kind of big. I don't know what else you guys do well. But you guys are big. You guys we turn the ball, ball, we turn the ball turn over. The, ball over. the <laughs> Hornets, they, they play good team basketball overall. Um, Archie control, controls the tempo very well. Um, you guys are just going to have to rebound. You guys are great at putbacks. That is for sure the game. Just because, like you said, Cinderella story team, low seed, and you guys are a high seed. We guys lose two games this year? Uh, yeah, one to the Hornets and early to the Blazers. And then you guys got spanked at the end. So, you know, yeah. like, that's, that's the, be the game. If it was just a loss, like if it was just like a five-point loss or whatever, it it wouldn't be what I think because of how we lost. Like that's how you lose. So it's I'm very curious to see how these young guys like it's not I can only do so much again and prepared, but it's that it's that psyche of can you get back up off the mat once you get beat down like that. You're as good as your last game, and I found most of the top teams lost their last game of the season moving yeah. into playoffs. Usually yeah. you want to go on a winning note. Win so. win, yeah. Yeah. So Blazers yeah. probably the only team oh, yeah. Blazers the only top team that went in off off of a win because you're yeah. right, Suns lost. Oh, we had a win. We had Warriors a win. lost. We had a win. Uh, yeah, Wolves won. Yeah, yeah Wolves won. Yeah, won. But that Wolves pushed won. you up. At yeah, that, that pushed you up. It was a big win. Yeah, it was a big win over the Suns. Yeah, right. Uh, I think we pretty much covered uh, covered that. So this is probably we already kind of glossed over us, but I'm gonna assume the the next question I had is which yeah. seed, which lower seed has the best chance of the upset? Yeah, I'm assuming we're all going. Hornets here? Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, buddy. I know. I'll and screw suns, all you guys. suns for me. Suns so, for okay, me. So, okay, okay, you're going to go with Suns. <laughs> suns for me. But well, yeah, I don't think yeah. it's going to happen. But, yeah, you know, I, don't, I, don't I, I, think, I think it's going to come down to free throws, and Suns one of the best free throw shooting teams mm. in the league. So, I think Suns take it. Mm. I just think the Sixers aren't serious most of the time, but if yeah. they lock in, they're a problem. I, from just seeing uh, how our guys rebound, I think we pull this off. I think we pull yeah. it through. Yeah. I don't think it's going to be an easy game. Yeah. But I, I think they. I think they're serious now. They know what they know who Archie is now. They didn't know who he was before. No one. I yeah, mean, you and a, I talked about bit this. Bit of a wake like, up call. Yeah, <laughs> Archie has been missing games. Yeah, and yeah. then so like no one could really watch him and see what like what he does. Right, they right. knew who Bucky was. They knew like the rest of the team. But now when you get to see the speed and see the decision making, you're like, oh okay, this guy, this guy's really good. I wasn't because I told them before. I was like, hey. He's just been banged up. Like the guy, if you did watch him, he was a little slower earlier because he was c- coming off an injury. Yeah, there's a big difference. So there's a big difference in Archer now than it was there. But we get it done. We'll get it done. Uh, no, no other, no other top seed. Like no Jazz. Jazz pulling off. I mean, the, the I would, I would love to say the Jazz. You're are not gonna, gonna pull back it off, your team, and the Jazz are gonna, you know, be the Cinderella team of the league, and. You know, eight's going to beat one, but it's going to be a tough battle. We're going to be missing a few guys, so we'll see what happens. Okay. Stay tuned. 20 and 20. Stay tuned. He might not be there, so yeah, stay tuned. Okay. Yo, you can't be giving the, the opposition. You can't that's be giving okay. the opposition. That's okay. That's okay. You got to pull what, okay. uh, what Archie did uh, against you guys. He yeah. dressed up yeah. like he was yeah. going to play, but he never played. <laughs> it was one of those uh, head games that he, that he did. Yeah. He came he to me. He had us psyched up, Yo, too. You know, what? you know what he did? He came to me and goes... Uh, I'm like, oh, I, you're back because I, I knew he didn't, you know, he was banged up. And yeah. he goes, oh, I'm not actually playing. I'm just here to see yeah. that, to psych him out. <laughs> and then you came over and shook yeah. his hands like, oh, you ready to go? He's like, yeah, yeah. He yeah. lied to you yeah. right yeah. to your face. To my face. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so Nasty. Nasty. Yeah, no, last, nasty move by him. <laughs> All right. So let's go through the, the series. So one, yeah. one to eight, two to seven. Let's go, go through each one. Uh, Lou, I'll have you start off. What do you... Give me the rundown of how well, you see this Well, I can't, I can't say that I'm going to lose. So I'm going to go Jazz takes the win. Okay. So who um, are you playing in the in the semis then? It's going to be between these two guys, right? I believe so, yeah. Um, yeah, Suns are, Suns and Sixers are three and six. So I think it's, I think it's them for yeah, sure. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, so I'm going to go Jazz, uh, take the win. Um, I'm going to say Thunder take the win. I'm going to say Suns take the win. I'm going to say Warriors take the win, um, which means that we we'd play the, the Warriors, Warriors. Yeah. right? Yeah. Um, Jazz Warriors, I kind of like that matchup. That's a better to be matchup honest. for you. Way better matchup for us. Yeah. I kind of like that matchup for us. So, like I said, I'm gonna take that as well. Mm-hmm. Um, and then we got Thunder versus the Thun Suns. I'm gonna say Thunder, and uh, just off past experience, because we played you guys. I'm yeah. gonna say you guys take it against us. 
Um, that's the correct answer. But uh, <laughs> we're going to uh, we're going to give you hell. That's for sure. That's All for right. sure. Joe, what do you what do you got? Um, so I, again, from one to eight, I think any team could win. Yeah, straight up. Yeah, I think that's the beauty of this league. I've been around for a while, and I haven't seen a league where literally one to eight. And it was actually even further where anyone can. I win. would go one to nine if yeah, the Lakers. Yeah, I mean, yeah even if the Lakers yeah, snuck in. Yep. Yeah. 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 Yep. Which is pretty insane and cool to see. So it's not like one of those leagues where it's obvious. Okay, well, Lakers are winning no matter what. Like it's it's obvious yeah. here. I mean, it was Thunder, Blazers, anyone could win. But for my upsets that I, I could, if I were to guarantee some, that if I were to put some money in, mm-hmm. I got the Warriors being the Wolves. And that's just by, I think we like that matchup. Mm-hmm. Um, so we actually lucked out. Can I can I pause you there for yeah. a second? You love that matchup. Love that so matchup. Little, little, side, little side story for everyone. Yeah. As the last two minutes are going, Joe is running. He's on the track and he's running up and down when, who hit the three? Was it you or was it uh, Arjun? Somebody hit a three. Oh, uh, what, the Suns game? In the Suns game. Yeah, yeah. And Joe throws his hands up and he's like three and then he starts doing this like <laughs> 10 feet laterally going running up and down that's how much he wanted to play you guys just saying it was an exciting game we played them i like the back and forth um there was some trash talking in that game going back and forth so yeah that's something yeah like what didn't see. one of them one of them one of their guys we call you a step worry yeah yeah we're, yeah. we're, rider. Yeah. we're must yeah. watch for sure we both talk yeah. a lot of shit a sh- shout out to etbl 2k because that game has probably the best audio out of all the games ever played <laughs> yeah <laughs> Michael Bally, though. it's comedy the whole way the through. whole way yeah <laughs> who, do, who do you turn to and say these kids have no f and iq I, I, I don't know if it was your wife or the camera you turn but... to? The, ca- the audio picked it up <laughs> we talk, we talk. the audio picked yeah. it up you turn you turn to somebody and you're like these kids have these no f and iq kids have no iq <laughs> well I, I don't know I, f- I felt like for me as a team i think we get amped up over people trash talking i think yeah no disrespect for the guy that was talking trash but if you're not bringing much for your team i would I would zip it because it's hurting your yep. your key players yep. on your team. Yep. So in future, I think the Wolves are going to come out strong. We're, we're, we're anticipating that, but I've got that as, as an upset. Okay. So uh, four or five, I've got so, yeah. Suns definitely taking out the Sixers. Okay. Yep. Uh, they're a veteran team with some youth, and that yep. kid just dropped 53. Then you got a veteran yep. guard Damn agent. Shit. Lawson looks like he's lost uh, 804 pounds. <laughs> yeah, he's no. 21 years old. <laughs> yeah. So I don't know what happened the last five months, but this guy's really turned it up. In fact, our team was watching the Suns, uh-huh. and I was just trying to – Look at them. Like, there's teams you have to evaluate, and Suns is one of them. And and I, you know, I feel from a matchup that could be a team that can go far. Um, then you got the Hornets, Thunder, right? Obviously, the Hornets can definitely play with them. Rebounding will be a problem. That could be an upset. But the ones I can guarantee would be Warriors and Suns. That's what I could say. I see the Warriors and Suns as the lower seeds getting through to the next round for sure. Okay, that's so, what I can predict. Yeah. And then now that's the semis. Who who do you have going to the? Um, that's fine. If we play the Jazz, I'll be honest with you, I know nothing about the Jazz. Who cares about the Jazz? It's like, <laughs> it's like Malone and Stockton back in the day. Who cares yeah, about who Utah? Cares? There's been no advertisement. I don't even know Love if you haven't posted about the photo of you. Other than that, I haven't seen a highlight on Utah. You know what I mean? <laughs> so I'm fine. But actually, the, the road we got mm-hmm. is more ideal to our, for our team. Yeah. I that, let them know that. Like that's, it's, it's for sure, that. that side of the bracket yeah. is the easiest side. Absolutely. We've got the best talent on. The, yeah. the Blazers have a, 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 a not a cakewalk, but they have an easier path. They don't have to go through us, the Suns, yep. the Hornets, or the Sixers. Yeah. Blazers have an easier path. Yeah. And then, yeah, and that's what I see. So I see two okay. over there. And mm-hmm. that's nice. Yeah, no. Uh, I'll let you. Uh, I like it. I like it. Well, you know, I'm always going to go with the Wolves. Uh, yeah, of course. Always you got to back your I think for that matchup, I think we have firepower that you guys don't know about. We just play like absolute dog shit sometimes. Yeah. It happens. Yeah. That game was one of them because we get when we get down we get real frustrated. But we got three guys at the top who could give you forty any night or just light it up from three. I don't know if you guys got that. Maybe you got yourself. Maybe one other guy. But no, they got it's gonna one have other to be guy. a lot. It's gonna have to be a lot to happen <laughs> for you guys. Let's put some respect my, on that name. name. That's, <laughs> that's my scouting report. You can Let's get the put respect on that name. Report. Let's put some respect my on that name. <laughs> but it's gonna be a chippy game for sure. I apologize in advance. Don't apologize. We no, want that. Apologize no. In a, no we I mean, you know, that. you never know what's going to get said, but don't worry. It won't be anything too crazy. Um, Jazz, I'm sorry. I'm, you guys you guys are packed in for me. Tough matchup, man. I, I, I don't blame you. you. Know, um, Thunder, I think you guys I think you guys pulled that one out. I'm going to be honest. I think the, the Hornets are a good team. I think you guys, I think, Ray, you got them real organized this time around. I mean, you guys are young. You guys are trying to figure out how you want to play. I think the size is going to play a huge difference yeah. and the athleticism for sure. I am not worried about what's on the court. I'm worried about what's in between the ears. 
that's your job. <laughs> I know. <laughs> and it's part time psychological uh, right now. Give me the Sixers. I just think they mess around a lot. They're just yeah. not locked in all the time. But when they know that, you know, this game means something, I think they're going to dial in and give the Suns the work. That's that's what I got, honestly. Then I, I'm i going to be honest. I've never watched the Blazers too much, but they're the one seed for a reason. The Wolves. It's going to be the Wolves. We've got too much firepower. We're going to lightning in a bottle, and we're going to be all right. Wolves beating Blazers? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. For sure, for sure. You can lock that one in. Then what do I got? Then I got the Suns. Yeah, I love it. I don't know where I'm at right now. <laughs> uh, then, so that's that means if you beat the uh, Blazers, you're in the <coughs> finals. So then it'll be uh, uh, Thunder, us versus the Sixers. The Sixers. It and won't then happen. Then it's the go Wolves. They're going to take all the Sixers. <laughs> you can take that to the bank. Okay. I like it. So uh, I have them over. We'll start on that side of the bracket. I don't I, like it. I, <laughs> I got them over you in a very, very close game. Very close game. Uh, I'll take that personal. I'll yeah, it, so I think it'll be a close by game. double digits. I know, I but that. they yeah. did play like dog shit. We're probably a seven point favorite, like we should be. As someone who's a degenerate I gambler on this table, <laughs> uh, the spread would definitely not be seven. That's but, a bad book you right there. That's a bad book. <laughs> but uh, I do think the Warriors pull it out. I, I, I think they pull it out in this game. There's a couple things I am worried about matchup wise. I don't want to like talk too much of it, but uh, I, I think you guys edged out. Sorry, Lou. The Blazers win easy. And then, uh, if I'm going to hedge, if you guys play the Blazers, I got you over the Blazers. Wow. If, uh, I don't much about if the Blazers. you guys play the Blazers, I got the Blazers over you. I think it's going to be matchup based. I don't like love what I'm the Wolves. Yeah. No love. So that's good. You're not, you're not. Because I don't, know I, which, I don't know which team I'm going to get like from it. you. I don't know which team I'm going to yeah. get from you. You're like the Sixers. Yeah, I, don't I don't know, know which either. team you're going to get. Neither do I. <laughs> <laughs> now, on the other side of the bracket, I do think the Sixers are going to, again, another close game. The Sixers are going to beat the Suns. Oh. It'll be close. The, the, nice. Their game in the regular season was close. I think it'll be close. Yeah. Um, we get past the Hornets, and then we're going to get a rematch, uh, us versus Sixers, like in the regular season. I think we'd be the Sixers. I think... I know what I'm going to do against the Sixers if I play them. The Suns is the tougher matchup. So you got Warriors, Thunder, th uh, Finals where you're going? I do. Wow, that's I how I predicted uh, early on. Yeah, I know. I have Warriors, Thunder, Final. Wow. I just think the uh, no one's really seen. I don't know this for a fact, but you're hiding something that you're not showing, uh, that you didn't show in the regular season. And I saw it. I saw something that came out during the Suns game, and then you quickly took it up, took it away. So I think you're hiding something. I know. We're really? In the yeah. Suns. It, really? In the, in the Suns. Suns. Yeah, you did. We didn't, oh, yeah. we'll, no, we'll, didn't play uh, the Suns. We didn't, we didn't play the Suns. I, so, I Hornets, like Hornets, 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 Hornets. My bad. It was Hornets the Hornets. Game. It was the Hornets when you and I were there. Yeah. yeah when yeah, you and I were at the yeah, table. Yeah. You and I were at the table. You know what I'm talking about. Yeah. Uh, they, they haven't done it since. They did it one time, and they haven't done it since. Yeah. That, that particular thing. Yeah. You can expose uh, it if you like. No, no, it's fine. sure. No, that's good. Let the world it's, know. No, no, I want to see. I'm curious too. I think yeah, he's just talking out of his know. ass right now. Lou, <laughs> Lou, you know what I'm talking about. I know exactly okay. what you're talking about. Yeah, so yeah, 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 yeah. when they yeah. when they played the Hornets, Hornets want to know. I want to know. <laughs> when they played the Hornets, the Hornets couldn't dribble past half court because they shaded Bucky to one side of the court and they trapped with a three two. They could they just kept turning they the did Hornets that with over. Us as well. You guys, they didn't even need to do it to that level because no. you guys didn't know what the hell was going on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. we were. You guys were just running around like. Playing pickleball. Well, I don't know what you guys are doing. We're settled in. We're yeah. settled in. But against the Hornets, which we tried to do and failed miserably. We actually tried <clears> to do it. We couldn't do it. We never practiced it before. But uh, I just don't think that they, with the length and the organization of a now, veteran team. So just to touch that, one of the guys that was leading that ruptured his Achilles is off the lineup. So we're uh, dealing yeah. with. Yeah. I don't know that. So we're dealing. That's with okay. Some you got injuries. enough long, long guys that you can get it done. But Hopefully. I saw an organized team on defense that an unorganized offense won't know what to do. And uh, there's only so much. So I, th I got you up upsetting the uh, the Blazers, the Blazers. And, then, wow. and then us versus you in the finals. Wow. Yeah. So I don't know if... Uh, I don't like it. I don't like it. Yeah, I know. I know. I know. <laughs> Sorry, man. I just, I don't know what team was, you're going to get. Was Phil there when you guys played them the first time? Um, yeah, your team goes... Yeah, I'm sure he was. There. There's yeah. no way we're probably beating them without... I think Phil is an integral yeah. part yeah, of yeah, our yeah. success, yeah, sure. 100%, yeah. along with some of the other guys. And that's that's... For our team, I, I appreciate yeah. that, but we've been struggling with attendance, and yeah. I've noticed the other teams have been jellying going to the playoffs. So I, I don't put us as a favorite. I put us as a team that's we went on a we went on a huge mm -hmm. run, 
But one thing I will say, and I think it's pretty obvious, that myself and Anthony is the best backcourt ETBL has ever seen in the history of the game. Ooh. Statistically, uh, from a brown backcourt or ever, myself and Anthony is the best in backcourt yeah, in any division. And we can go Ooh. and pick up another team and Ooh. do this again. 100%. Okay. Yeah. The 100%. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, let me introduce you to Joe. From Anthony, yeah. <laughs> from Anthony going to the cup all day, yeah. I don't see any guard in rec, or even if we up a division, if Keyshore gives it, I bring my team in there. I mean, we could probably got, I got two, three years left in me at my age, right? And I'm not worried about any wow. guard in here at all. At all. I think you see where I pull from. I think you've seen what Anthony can do if you haven't. Take notes. Talk that uh, he's talk, a dog. Joe. He's a dog. Talk yeah. that talk. No, no, this guy doesn't know about they, Anthony. They don't, they don't know. <laughs> they didn't even mention him. <laughs> yeah, so he's an elite ball handler. Yeah. Uh, obviously, I've got the age there, but if anyone starts talking, I'm going to bring it. And I think we've proven in the rec level we're, we're the best backcourt. I know if Sixers wanted to bring that, that was done. No, 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 that no, was no. done right away when he started yapping. That was over. Yeah. Right? So I don't see Sixers advancing. I got a little dysfunctional right now. Um, but with the Wolves, if they get it together, I just don't think from the guard play, they've got their shooters, but then you, you lose that to me. It's not even a wash off. I'm going to hit seven threes. He's going to hit three. Then you got Anthony from talk the point guard against talk, your other Joe. guard. He's going to eat up your guard, right? Mm -hmm. For like what? 25 and seven. Then you're done there. And then our bigs we have, they don't have any bigs. So it's very difficult for this matchup for the Wolves. They'd have to that's be why I have you. Out. That's why I have yeah. you. Yeah. But I have in close game. Yeah. So that's why I said, if yeah. there's a better backcourt, show me it. But from what I've seen in the in the divisions, I've been to a couple games. I don't think there's. I mean, I don't think. So. I think the Hornets have a pretty good backcourt. Not, not as good. As the Suns have, have a pretty battle. good backcourt as well. We won that battle, <coughs> yeah. right? Right. When I have like thirty five, and yeah, Anthony yeah, was yeah, on yeah. that team. I'm not team? disagreeing with you. No, no he, he was there. He was there. He was there. Okay. No, I'm not disagreeing with you. I just the thing I'm going to disagree with you about is. And there was not an ETBL history. ETBL history is pretty. I don't know. ETBL history is pretty crazy. Give me the best player in the history of your guards. That have played a whole season mm -hmm. and, and and excelled at a high percentage where you can show me statistically that they've done. Yeah, it. but you're doing it against lower competition. That's fine. You're shooting a three from half court can do it at any level. Yeah, but you're not getting defense. You're getting a guy like me. So I, 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 I haven't I haven't out, I haven't been here. Yeah. I haven't I haven't been here long, but yeah. I think Chris and Javid together on one team was better than you guys. Chris and Javid. Chris and Javid. I think. Yeah, well, the, and Clipper, the Clipper. The yes. Clipper. Chris. Yeah. Yes. When they yes. almost no, upset. Wrong. So wrong. I actually okay. told that to Randy. Not a chance. So Chris and Javid are not even remotely close to being Anthony. And, and, and we can go to a five star. We go to the leagues, and not a chance. I've seen them both play. They're good players, but they're not going to be as efficient. Remember, you can't just go down and throw up shots. You have to be efficient at every level from the three point line, from the free throw line, and from turnover the ball. I, I agree, you guys are the best in this division. You probably would have been the best in the last comp. Yep. But yep. I think once you go to elite, I think there's. Elite's pretty crazy, play. man. Let me but let's prove it. I mean, big Mike, bring Big Mike back. You bring Joey V. And then I'll bring in another guard, Anthony. He's older, 38. Yeah, we're good, bro. But just yeah. as long as Keyshore gives us the push for that next division, you will see me returning at a higher level, which I think I've earned the right to play rec. I think Agreed? I think you have. I, I, I want to see this right matchup. Boys, right? Agreed? I can now move up a division. Yeah, you know? move up. All right, okay. I, feel I like dare we, you. We're, we're not, we went away from playoffs. <laughs> yeah. This is good. This yeah, is yeah, good. Yeah, I, like fired up, yeah. I like fired up Joe. Yes, yes. Uh, salty la Joe. Yeah, salty, salty Joe. Joe. I like Salty <laughs> Joe. So last thing I got is, is there any bold predictions for for the for this playoffs, so it could be another fifty pointer by uh, Jamshed, you know. Any any crazy? Lou, we'll start with you. Anything crazy? You think any bold predictions? I think um, we're gonna go go to the Hornets game, the Hornets and Thunder game, mm -hmm. and I think uh, Abishan is gonna have a thirty and twenty. <laughs> but I think I think they still lose with thirty and twenty. I think Thunder still take it. I don't. I like that prediction. Yeah, yeah. I like that prediction. Yeah, yeah. Joe, anything? Yeah, I see monster numbers from both teams. Uh, yeah. Twenty plus rebounds and all that. I think just because of the size, it'll be a good game. But again, I don't know. I just got to go back with that forty point slapping. That's still in Thunder's head. And yeah. Like I said, I could see the Hornets going to the finals. Imagine Hornets Warriors. That could happen, right? Yeah, yeah that, that could happen. They're on I, and that's what I would love to see, honestly, because that was some good trash talk in that game. I like that game a lot. <laughs> My favorite game you tell us here was the Hornets Warriors game because it was good old old school smack talk. Healthy wasn't anything yeah. serious. Yeah. And it was a good fun ball game. I know guys got a little upset at the end, but it was nice. It was competitive. Very right, competitive. I got you. So I, I, got you. I, you know, I got uh, I got the Hornets mm -hmm. with some with a major game. I, I think you'll have, yeah, I agree. Yeah. Maybe yeah. 20, 30 points, 15 rebounds, four steals. Yeah, something, something crazy. Ridiculous, something crazy, right? yeah. You know? Yeah. Uh, so my prediction, and I'm not saying that because you're here, but it's the reason why I have you beaten the Blazers. I think you're going to have one of those ETBL memory moments 
I think oh, you're wow. gonna, I think you're gonna go off for the fifty. Guys, what is what am I saying yeah. <laughs> today? This is absolutely <laughs> no, my birthday's yeah. not coming up. <laughs> no, I think you're gonna go off. I think you're gonna go off against. That's that's how you're gonna upset the the Blazers. Is it's gonna be like you carry those guys. You're gonna have one of those heater games where we're like Joe turn back the clock. That's the only way. I mean, that's the only way I see you beating the Blazers is by you having one of those games. The Blazers. Uh, what are we talking about here? Sorry, man. Like, I, yeah. I just don't believe in your team and which team I'm getting. I don't know. I don't know which team I'm gonna get. Blazers are nice, vicious, man. Don't don't just don't miss <laughs> the Blazers. Blazers are nice. Yeah, man. Blazers are nice. They, but I think I hear they have an elite shooter on that team. They do, but he's yeah. the, yeah. the, the, the like, they got the best in my opinion. On that team, I heard in the my league. opinion the second best shooter in the league. Really? So. Yeah, in my opinion the second best. He, uh, mm-hmm. Lou thinks he's the third best shooter. Third in the best, league. yeah, to me. Well, Rishi is the on their team, second and he's best, the second yeah. best shooter wow. in the league. So both. No, no, he's yeah. second. Oh. You're one. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Lou thinks uh, Rishi is third. I don't think yeah. so. I think Rishi. I have a healthy respect for Rishi. So uh, I'm gonna. Yeah, I think that's that's my little. Yeah, there's no fifty ball in me. First of all, I yep. I, I think with Ed and the guards, uh, my numbers will be low. I'll, yeah. I'll probably in the twenties. I think for us, we had a ball movement, right? It's not mm-hmm. individual here, so no. I appreciate it. I right. hope this, but I've been in the gym a hell of a lot because you know we can't be going out first round. Wolves, we're coming, man. Wolves. We're coming. Stop to you, man. <laughs> Bold prediction. Yeah. Me and Arjun are going to outshoot Joe. Both okay, let's go. That, I like that. Both, that. both of us. Let's go. You guys let's combined go. for threes in that game will not hit more threes than me individually. Both let's of us so are hit combined both five or six. I'm telling you, we're both are like we, that. We have I'll our probably off have seven or eight. <laughs> guys, I'm telling uh, you. I've I've seen, I think there's money that needs to be placed on this. Right. <laughs> He's just looking for a bet. He's <laughs> <laughs> absolutely degenerate. I'm That's telling you, me and June's, when we get cooking, it, yeah. It's like okay. an ocean, like it's it's splash, but you know the legs haven't been there yet. But all right, I all promise right. you. Okay, that's uh, we've we'll wrap this up with a playoff edition. Uh, thanks for you guys coming out, and uh, I can't wait for these matchups because they're gonna Absolutely. be they're gonna be really good. Yeah, it's getting yeah. spicy. Thank you for having me. Appreciate yeah. it. Yeah, thank you guys as well. Appreciate your time. Okay, uh, actually, before we go, a uh, couple of things I gotta tie up. Uh, we have the res- registration for uh, competitive uh, coming up. I guess it, I don't even know what, what the hell the commissioner t- is titled. I think it's this. elite now. Is it elite? <laughs> yeah, who knows, man? He doesn't pay us enough for me to pay attention. So he's got it. He's got uh, elite coming up, and then he's got rec coming up uh, middle of March again. So visit uh, visit the website and the uh, the Instagram uh, for more information. Rec is in March, you said. I think it's in March. Yeah, got a. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah. So. April, 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 yeah. Yeah, okay. April. Again, I don't pay attention. He yeah. doesn't pay me to pay attention. And I think I think we got one more thing, Ray. Oh, do we? I think uh, we had some GM of the year talk. Oh yeah, I totally forgot about that. Yeah, 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 I, was, yeah. I completely yeah, was disrespecting yeah. him the entire yeah. day. <laughs> that I totally forgot about him. Yeah, we got uh, we got we got to give him his flowers. Yeah, yeah. He, thank he, you, thank you. He As, earned it. Uh, one GM of the year to another. Congratulations on being on winning oh, thanks, GM of the guys. year. Thanks, guys. I Congratulations. Appreciate I appreciate it. Put together yeah. a fresh squad. It's not done yet, though. Remember this bet, Joe. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to have a chat. When oh those God. threes are rated, Joe? Make sure to look at him when you hit Just don't talk. You're going to see, you're gonna see Joe's head down no, the whole day. Don't talk. Just, don't, just do it head respectfully. Down. Just don't, respectfully. Just don't, respectfully. Just don't worry. Yeah. We'll make sure we're, we're Because then I'm going to go off. Then, then it's I don't know. I don't know about <laughs> that. Do I don't know about that. So just turn right. once and the Joe, fire. All right. We'll save it for the game. Save it for the game. Let's wrap this up. All right. I can't wait. Okay, we're back. You guys thought we were done, but we got two more legendary guests, special guests, potential uh, MVP candidate of the year. Yes, Archie sir. And, uh, yes, sir. Defensive player uh, of the year candidate in, the, in Thanu. Of course. Uh, we want to get your thoughts on the playoffs. Uh, you know, I, it's going to be tough for me to <laughs> <laughs> give you your respect, but I got to give you your respect. Yes, sir. Um, but yeah, I know. Great to have you guys on, and uh, we want to kind of get your thoughts on on first round matchups. Uh, you know, I'll, I'll start with you. No, you know what? I mean, I'll do Thanu. Uh, <laughs> second person today. Second person I know, today. I know. Yeah, yeah. We look alike. Still. Yeah, I know. I know. Archie, you know, just uh, introduce yourself a little bit, and then yeah. kind of go into what you, uh, how you think this uh, first round matchup is going to go. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, my name is Archie. Uh, played in ETB, ETBL for for some years now. You know, it's my first time playing rec. Uh, it's been some of the most fun basketball I've played in a while. You know, super competitive, like you guys have mentioned. 
Oh yeah. Any team can go at it. So it's yeah. been super fun. And, you know, thanks for having me on the podcast. But it's not up, us, up to us <laughs> to decide. You, but yeah, for, for, for my, my, my favorite matchup, yeah. other than our matchup, which is like, get your popcorn ready. Get your popcorn sure. ready. I, I got to go with the Warriors and the Wolves. Yeah. You know, I think it's, it's, a, it's a true story of, you know, experience versus youth. You know, yep. the, the Wolves got run and gun. You know, that's a coin flip, that game. It could go yep. either way. I wouldn't be surprised if the Wolves won, but I got to go with the Warriors. They're super disciplined, yep. super physical team, too. Like, they got some big bodies on that team. And then they got Joe. They got Anthony, who I don't think a lot of people are talking about. Nobody he joined knows. Like halfway no one knows. Nobody knows. Super solid guard. They play the right way, disciplined. So I wouldn't be surprised if the Wolves won just because of the youth, the running gun of their of their team. But I got to go with I got to go with the Warriors. And, and that matchup is going to be an exciting one to watch. I already give my thoughts. What are you, uh, um, your favorite matchup? If I'm allowed to repeat. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah I'm going to go with the uh, the Thunder and the Hornets. Okay. Uh, strictly because the 40 piece. I know that, <laughs> that sits in your head a lot. And uh, personally, uh, like, I don't let that mess with me mentally because... Right. You're seasoned, it, though. You've been around... But, okay, sure. But it also makes me want to come out and kill. Yeah. And, I, and I've seen some of those... I've talked to some of the Thunder guys, and I think some of them want to come out and kill. And I think the Hornets, they got a lot of firepower. They're going to come out and, uh, you know, they, they're coming off a high of a 40 piece, right? Yep. A 40 piece is a big deal in, uh, Huge deal. You know, yeah. in, a, in a league like this. And, run time. Uh, run time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know, uh, so I think that 40 piece is going to be the lingering, uh, ling- it's going to be lingering in the air. And it, it's going to be good to see who, which version uh, comes out of the Thunder, whether it's the disciplined. Uh, listening to Ray version or uh, thank you, thank you. the the tall, lanky, athletic uh, bigs, really, because they're all monsters uh, coming out. And then you know you got the uh, the the veterans on the um, the Hornets there. Yep, Achu's uh, taking the lead there. He's I think he's averaging like twenty one uh, eight and the seven playmaking or is becoming like an issue. And uh, yeah, and he's creating for guys like yeah. Bucky and. Yep. Uh, and the young buck, Alvin um, too. Yeah, Alvin and, uh, too. Yeah, but yeah. Shout out Alvin. That guy plays one hundred. Yeah, no matter one what. One speed, man. One, one speed. speed. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, and, and it's funny because you're not gonna like this, but before the game, he came yeah. out and uh, before your game, yeah, yeah, he came up to me and he's like, "I'm gonna put on a show," and, and I was like, "Ah, yeah, cool, <laughs> Alvin. All right." Alvin's not going six for seven from three. But, but, <laughs> but he put on a show. He put, put on a, a show. show. Right? He's not doing that again. He, he delivered. Put on a show. And, I, and I <laughs> he's think, not doing that again. I think it's gonna be it's gonna be cool to see everybody come out and wanna you know lay it out. It's it's yeah. one and done, right? It's one so, and done. Yeah, for sure. Uh, I think that that matchup is gonna be uh, my favorite to watch. And yeah, okay. that's basically where so, we're at. So uh, I'll finish. Uh, get you to take. Is, do you think there's an upset happening in that series? Yes, I, I call the upset. Yeah. yeah so yeah, you yeah. think yeah. that's uh, I guess so. That's an upset you got, but. You got any other ones, or which which out of all the matchups, which uh, which one do you think is more the higher percentage of the upset happening? So it, it's kind of what you guys talked about with the Hornets not being a true seventh seed, but for the sole fact that they are the seventh seed, they are the right? seventh seed. Yep, I think uh, that upset is that's the biggest be one because yep. again, you got to rally these guys and get them on the same page and mm-hmm. have them playing the right way, right? And uh, you know, I, I I play against a lot of younger kids these days, and they're all about the flash. And uh, no one wants to play defense. No one wants mm-hmm. to do the dirty work, right? Mm-hmm. And you need those guys on your team. Yeah. And if you, you need the Nabeels. Yeah, 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 exactly. And if you, if you don't have the Nabeels mm-hmm. or the glue guys, the glue yeah. guys, yeah, then uh, yeah. it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if you go for thirty, right? Yeah. You can go for thirty, and the 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 small things they need to get done are not going to get done. So. Yeah, regardless, it adds to the story. That's yeah. why. That's why that game. Like, if I had to choose, when I'm going with that matchup, yeah, like, get sure. your popcorn ready. Yeah. That 40 piece is there. So. Mm-hmm. Like, it, it's, not, it's not just how your team responds; it's how we respond too. Like, yeah. we might come up on a high, thinking you know we yep. beat these guys, but it's, it's every game. It's it's a different story, you know. So right. we'll be ready. But yeah, I think all the games are going to be setting. I think I think we're going to have a good turnout. I think the playing games oh, it yeah. wasn't that. I think it was Super Bowl Sunday yeah. that, yeah. that yeah. game, so yeah. the crowd wasn't as crazy. But I think yeah. this weekend with every team playing. I think the crowd's going to be crazy. Yeah, I mean, we should have the, the best eight teams that are there. We yeah. should have close games all around. It For should sure. Be, it should be like, I don't think any team's going to get 40 Uh Better not be must. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but uh, no, nah, we ain't getting 40 It's going to, all games I think are going to be close. They're going to come down to wire. Guys recognize what they're playing for. For sure. Uh, so go, obviously you guys, you got the Hornets beating, uh, your, your team beating us. So any, what's, uh, what's your prediction for the rest of the yeah. first round? So yeah, like you said, like, 
there's so many close games, like it's super competitive, but I got the Blazers beating the Jazz. Mm-hmm. I think Lou already, I don't know if he was supposed to, but he already <laughs> spilled some beans on, on his team already. Yeah, yeah. he yeah. slipped up. But yeah, regardless with that, I got I, the, I may have already got that intel. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah, 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 I just received it now. Yeah. It's out there. <laughs> yeah, but, but I got to go with the Blazers. They're their number one seed. Yeah. I think they lost one game this whole year. They're the favorites, I think, to run the whole table. So Let's not talk about that one loss. Yeah. yeah. So, so the, the Blazers I, should have had two losses if, uh, if the if, 76ers if, didn't decide that they had want to go play another mm, game. But yeah, it's almost three if Surin, Surin didn't call timeout. Yeah. Too. <laughs> it's, it's hard. It's hard. To, it's hard. To, I don't believe in timeouts. I forgot about that. It's it's hard to judge teams in the regular season too because like their, their whole teams may not show up, you know, and then like people are injured, like you said, like yeah. it's hard. Like well, when I'm just judging them if they're on if they're on full strength yeah. and they're rolling. That, that's a tough team to beat. You know, they're super disciplined. They got so many pieces. Thanu, Garen, Rishi, Surin's a beast in the yeah. paint. Nabil, glue guy. Like, they all yeah. play their roles. And they're, they're just a good team. Like, they, they're, they're a well-knit team. Seems like they all get along with each other. I think, I think they're going to be the team to beat in the playoffs. I got Hornets. Of course, I got to go roll yeah, with the Hornets roll. over yeah. the Thunder. I got to roll with my team. I got the Sixers over the Suns. I think the Sixers on paper are one of the best teams in the league. Like oh, just yeah. on talent, talent alone. Yeah. They got the Malera yeah. brothers. Yeah. They got Darius. And then they got solid bigs. Like yeah. their bigs are in the paint. Yep. You know, physical, blocking shots. But the thing is, are they going to be on their A game? But this is, yeah. but I gotta judge it just off that. It's gonna be a close game because the Suns, Jamshed, Adrian, Sean, all these. It was a close game in the regular season. So, yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. And, wire. and I think yeah. I think yeah. most of the Suns games are close, the games they've lost. Yeah. They never got like a full Suns, th- a full Suns team. Yeah, yeah. Like the, all their games yeah. are within ten points. Most of their L's. So I could see it going either way, but I got to go with the Sixers. I think if they're rolling, it's tough to beat that team. And then I got the Warriors over the Wolves, but that's a coin flip. But I got to go with the, the veterans and go with yep. the Warriors there. Okay, what's your call? Um, well, for starters, sorry, brother. Talk but, about uh, it. Talk <laughs> about it. Talk got, about it. I got the Blazers uh, <laughs> coming out uh, on top of the Jazz. Um, I think we're we're first seed for a reason. Yeah. I know a lot of people think, uh, oh, we're not a true first seed because whatever their opinions may be. But you know, we got a, a lot of factors that. Um, I think you just made that up. No one's ever said that. <laughs> I, I've heard it myself. Yes. Nobody's ever said that. A lot, a lot of, I've heard you guys. A lot of people don't know about the Blazers for some reason. I don't know, I know why. It's crazy. But I thought you just were like making up Michael no, Jordan no, and the, this the, thing, the, just the making Blazers, up stuff to get uh, you going. Yeah, the Blazers slander okay. is. Uh, yeah, it's 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 okay. out there, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's yeah. out okay. there. It's alive and well. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, and you know what? And it's okay because I, I live for that. Yeah. And uh, I I love being the underdog, even though we're first seed. I don't think we're gonna be an underdog, but uh, yeah, I have us coming out on top. Um, it's playoffs. Everybody's mm-hmm. gonna be playing harder. It's not gonna be easy. You guys are gonna bring your A game. Oh yeah. Um, I've seen a couple. Of your, you guys play hard. Yeah. And uh, if we don't match up with that physicality, I think we're gonna yeah. be in trouble. So it's not gonna be easy. But you know, I I have to go for my team, right? Yep. Um, and then, sorry, Ray, but I got the, right. uh, the Hornets coming out on top. Ooh, we. Um, and that's purely because of uh, just basketball IQ. Um, the Thunder were, in my opinion, uh, at midseason point, I thought these guys are going all the way. Like, there's, there's, yeah. no, way, uh, yeah. there's, no, there's no stopping these guys because they're so, they're so long, they're lanky, hard to score at the rim, right? You guys have a ton of uh, length there. And then uh, even uh, guard play, like, you, you have... Uh, Six foot two, six foot three guy bringing up the ball and yeah, uh, it's crazy and man. He's, yep. he's doing some crazy thing and you sit there and you're like, okay, like these guys are gonna be really tough to beat. But then when you when you watch their your losses, you can kind of see where you can kind of pick apart yep, yep. Uh, the team. And uh, unless you rally them together and you have them all on the same page, I, I got the Hornets. I think uh, Archie's gonna do his thing. He's gonna have his team involved. Uh, young guys gonna be going off. Um, Abby's gonna be key. Abby, yeah, yeah, yeah. Abby's gonna be key. Yep. But he he has a motor. And uh, if you don't get back, and that's yeah. kind of what killed you. Oh guys, yeah, right? we didn't. We get no. Nope, yeah, we just gave up. We yeah, fast break layup, fast break layup, fast break. I layup. think Ray had that was the most minutes you had, right? <laughs> uh, <laughs> no, I don't think so. No, no, it's, no, it's no. probably um, Cavs. The Cavs. Oh, game. maybe yeah, yeah. 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 The Cavs game. Yeah. <laughs> I seen Ray on the court so much. That I was like, what's going on right now? <laughs> yeah. That's a, so if you see him on the court, it's either we're getting blown out or we're blowing someone <laughs> yeah. out. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, yeah, so I, I think, uh, you know, and a big X factor, I know we're going to talk X factors later too, mm-hmm. but uh, it's going to be Bucky, and I'll explain when we get to that question okay. later. Cool. Um, Bucky. Yeah, so I got, I, I got the Hornets, yeah. uh, and then I have the Suns. I okay. think uh, Lawson's size 
down low is going to be a, a lot beast. to deal with. Mm-hmm. Yeah. He's a beast. And shout out Jamsha. That's my dog. Yeah. Uh, we Jamsha. just started two chips together. And I've seen what he does on a, on a very, in, in a very close perspective. Yep. And it, he showed it himself. He dropped 53, 50, right? Yeah. yeah. Um, he's going to be a beast to handle. And then, and then you got Adrian. Who's yeah. arguably a better offensive player than Jamshed. More efficient. Yeah. Right? More yeah. efficient. Really good shooter, too. Really good shooter. And uh, he's smart. He is smart as hell. Yep. And so I think the, those three, the big three there, are, are get it done. Um, and yeah, I, I think. Do you say lot. Wolves, uh, Wolves, Warriors? Yeah, Which who you got there? Last, yeah. Okay. So uh, I have, uh, yeah, I got the Wolves coming out. Okay. Oh, okay. Um, so we're split, like. Yeah. I think the the, the three six the four yeah. five. I yeah. think we split down. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah, I know. I know they mentioned uh, it's it's hard to tell which team they're gonna. Yeah. Which team is gonna show up? Mm-hmm. So I think I've only seen the games where their team showed up. Yeah. So okay. I yeah. Looked at them and I said, yeah. oh, like these these guys are good. Like, yeah, they yeah. got shooters. Yeah, yeah it's shooters day and night and, though. Uh, sometimes. Yeah. yeah. It is. And, I, and yeah. I haven't seen their bad games. So yeah, their bad games are bad. Really yeah. bad. They're, they're really bad. Yeah. So that. Maybe it's just a little bias from my perspective, uh, but I, I got the Wolves got the on wolves. top of yeah. the Warriors. Um, and I'm sorry, and I'm saying this because I'm 30, Yeah, but age means something. Oh, four. And, uh, and especially yeah. uh, in, in this league where yeah. it's a bigger court, right? And yeah, it's a few more court. running. Yeah, more running, mm-hmm. and uh, eventually, you know, people get tired, right? Yeah. yeah. Legs aren't there for your jump shots, and if you start relying on threes, then you're going to be in for a long game, right? For sure. Yeah. So those right. are my predictions. Uh, I think all valid. I, I, all valid. I agree with everything except for our game. I think we're. <laughs> I think we're, we're. I'd like to think we're ready. We're locked in, and yeah, we'll, yeah it's gonna we'll, be a good we'll one though. It'll be a good one though. It'll be a good one for sure. Uh, if I'll start with you, if you're not gonna pick the Hornets, you have to pick a team um, to go to the finals. That's not yours. Do you think it'll be? I got the Blazers. Like again, I think like you said, they're the side of the bracket they're on, mm-hmm. avoiding the Thunder, Sixers. You know, a yeah. lot of the. The, the teams we said at the beginning of the year were, were going to be monsters. Yeah. Um, and then they just got, they got a complete team to me. You know, they, they're super disciplined. Their offense, you know, Thanu can go off. Garen can go off. No, no, Re- Thanu can go off. Thanu can lock down. Guys. <laughs> yeah, he'll lock down for sure, but I'm like, he can get his Along buckets. Along with the Blazers slander. The yeah. Blazer slander. <laughs> Here it is. There it is. I, I never yeah. heard it, but now I'm hearing it like yeah. this from just, just today. Uh, it's, well, and might then be Rishi, the ringleader of that. Rishi spacing the floor. <laughs> yeah, Rishi's Like, he's key. Him spacing the floor allows, you know, yeah. Garen and Thanu to operate. Um, yeah, I think they got a well-oiled machine. You know, Cern got got a monster team, and yeah, um, he's he's going for what back-to-back chips now. Back-to-back, yeah. Yeah, he's cementing with himself. Different, and what's more impressive is it'd be a different roster, essentially. Of yeah, of yep. Cementing yeah. himself, maybe best yeah. ETBL player of all time if he gets another one. So why's the silence? Player or GM? <laughs> I'm going player. Oh, okay. I'm just trying to. I'm start, starting some controversy, okay. but yeah, I got I got the Blazers. If I don't got the Hornets, I got the Blazers going. To the, I think they're okay. they're going to win their first round matchup, and then they play the Warriors or Wolves. I think I think they'll handle that as well. Um, they're 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 just a complete team. They lost one game the whole year, nine mm-hmm. and one. I don't think they get talked talked enough. Not enough in at the all. league. Yeah. Everyone yeah. talks about the Thunder and the Sixers. Not enough because they don't do it in a flashy way. Yeah, they just go, yeah, out, they, they, they just go out and win exactly. With the Spurs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Spurs. yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't think they like they they win by like twenty. A lot of their games are like ten to fifteen points, and, but they just handle their yeah. business. Or if they're up on. big, they'll they're always choke big. it away. So uh, yeah, they're up big most of the time, right? Win. So that's what I'm saying. Do we yeah. have time for? Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I want to hear the, the, uh, yeah. the, the timeout story. story time. So, yeah, so story we're time. playing the Bucks. Right? Yeah. yeah, and uh, oh, this game. And shout out Vishnu. He plays on my team uh, in the. Uh, uh, in we're not going to. We're not going to talk about that. But so I play. I play. I play with him quite a bit. Yeah. In practice, I guard him quite a bit. So. When we were playing him. I said, "I got him," mm-hmm. and uh, and I was and I was picking him up right as he crossed the half, in yeah. the second half especially. Yeah. Um, and we're up twenty, and uh, you know, and this is this is part of like the tiredness and, and you know just mental fatigue as well. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, and and you saw it because people were turning the ball over, yeah, and turning the ball over, and then turning the ball yep. over, myself included in that, and. Yeah. Uh, and I looked over to Cern, and I'm like, dude, you're going to call him out? <laughs> he's like, well, don't turn the ball over. <laughs> and I said to him, I was like, okay, yeah, cool, whatever. Yeah. I'm back, still playing defense, doing my thing, whatever. And then the run keeps dwindling, right? Yeah. yeah. Our, our lead starts, starts dwindling, and then gets to like, I think it's like six points. Yeah. And at this point, I looked at Cern, and I'm like, are you for real, man? <laughs> and uh, and eventually he calls the timeout. Yeah. yeah. And and then we sit there and I'm like, yo, like, what what the hell is that? Yeah. And he's like, I don't believe in timeouts. <laughs> and, I don't believe in. And timeouts. so I laughed. I actually yeah. laughed in the moment, even though I was I was pretty yeah. frustrated with the game. 
And uh, whatever, we go out. You guys know what happened. We, yeah. we win the game. Yeah. And uh, shout out to Beal. Thriller. Yeah, shout out to thriller, Beal. Yeah, Such yeah. a thriller. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> post game, we're sitting in a huddle. And I looked, at, and I'm just like getting certain stank guy, right? Yeah. And then Susubi, he comes up to me. He's like, bro, like, don't even be surprised. Even when we play 2K, yeah. all those players have the Gatorade symbol on them. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, so he really doesn't believe in that. He really doesn't believe in that. Not even in a video game. Oh, not man. even in a video game. So, uh, anyways, we yeah. had a deep conversation. I said, you're going to have to call some timeouts in the playoffs. Okay. If you want to well, we got four, so. <laughs> and, yeah. Uh, yeah so okay. Uh, uh, yeah, so, yeah, other than, other than my team, I got to go with the Blazers. Okay. Yeah. 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 Cool. yeah. Tanu, who you got? Um, yeah, aside from us, uh, and I'm not saying this because he's at the table, but mm -hmm. I, I think the, the Hornets beat you guys, then yeah. I think it's a cakewalk for them to win the next game and come to the finals. I think the Sixers is the ultimate they're wild card team. Yeah. yeah. If they yeah. win, they win it all. Yeah. Because yeah. I think I think we're the I think we're the only team. They're a tough that, out for sure. Yeah. Like I feel comfortable yeah. saying that we can yeah. beat them. But they yeah. are they win. They they're gonna win out. I know yeah. some some of the matchups are crazy. It's like it's yeah. like finals matchups in the first round. Yeah, in the first yeah. round, exactly. It's gonna be nuts. Exactly. Uh, you said that you were gonna talk. I can't remember. Was it Bucky? So what's your yes, X? X yeah, what's your X factor or your the of the playoffs? Like what's I, gonna? Yeah. So I think uh, two shooters that are gonna be big X factors. Mm -hmm. uh, one's Bucky. Uh, if he's hitting for you guys, it yeah. opens everything up. Everything. And, uh, yep. Yeah, and you guys are seven for fourteen against the Thunder. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Wow. Yep. So Stud. Yeah, you get you get Bucky who's hitting seven threes, and yeah. you got a Abby and Archie who are likely going to go yeah. out for twenty themselves, right? Yep. Um, yeah. I yeah, think. that's what their average is. I think is they're yeah. they're both in the twenties. Yeah. 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 And, uh, yeah. I think I think he's going to be a big X factor, and then the other X factor is going to be on my squad, Rishi. Um, if he's yeah. hitting, I, I don't think we lose. If he's because, hitting, no yeah. one could beat you. Guys. I, think, I think in my opinion, episode yeah. one yeah. they said in he's the opinion. X factor yeah. too, and then you're like he's not he's not even under, oh underrated sorry underrated player. Yeah, because I don't think yeah. he's an X factor. I think he like yeah. X, that's like saying oh Archu is an X factor. Yeah. Like and that, that guy is in my eyes, and because I have a healthy respect for his game, yeah, I don't think not, that guy is. He's well known. Yeah, he's well yeah. known. But yeah. clear, I understand what you're saying. Like this is it's not necessarily an X factor. It's like a big game that could go off, and yeah. he is capable. Yeah. We all know what you and Gary yeah. can do. Like uh, he is the guy that you can turn For around. Sure. Like, How does you this give me some respect now. On defense, <laughs> he's, doing, he's, doing, he's doing a little backhanded <laughs> yeah. compliment. Yeah. On defense, <laughs> on defense. Uh, yeah, no. I, I, so I think uh, Rishi. I, again, this isn't a slander to him. Mm -hmm. He's obviously a very high-profile player. Yeah. He's helped mm -hmm. him win a championship mm -hmm. last season. Um, but if he's hitting at a high clip, yeah. Because there's there's games where I'm playmaking yeah. and yeah. I drive and I see him open. Yeah. I have a wide open layup and I was like, nah, he's, he's give, hitting. Yeah. And Three for two, him, yeah. Key, Flash. man. Five Key for seven team. versus the Thunder. Yeah. And yeah. He knows yeah. all the stats. <laughs> right? so, I know. Well, uh, listen, when, when I play back our major losses, I'm like, how could we have won? There's only two of them. Yeah, there's only... <laughs> yeah, but like, there's been closer games. Yeah, yeah. That games you should have won by more. Yeah, games we should have won sure, by more. Yeah. That I'm not necessarily worried about that, but like that... Thunder game, the uh, sorry, the the Blazers game and the yeah. Sixers game, I, I play back in my head for sure. And yeah, your yeah. game, I try to forget about. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I have those two as uh, big X factors that can literally, quite literally, win a championship. For yep. Yeah. Okay. Well, I appreciate you guys. Uh, I gotta do my X factors, man. I thought you already did yours. No. I had a name I wanted to throw out there. Ooh. I wanted to give a shout out to Chris Palmer on the Warriors. Okay, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. He's legit. Really? Legit. Chris yeah. Palmer. I know, I know everyone in this Good league. defender, really good defender. Yeah. Like, like, I oldest, watched, oldest guy in the league. Is he? Yeah. I think so, yeah. I mean, yeah. it's the Warriors. Everyone's good. Yeah. Oldest yeah. guy in the league, I watched league, a few man. of their games. Even the yeah. game we faced him, like, he, he locked me, like, he was guarding me tight. Um, he does all the dirty work for them. Blocks. Yeah. He yeah. guards usually the best player on the other team. Yeah. Physical rebounding steals super like, athletic he doesn't ask for much on the offensive nope. end he takes maybe like five ten shots couple mid-ranges yeah. it's the headband those type of guys is like the people we i worry about like in the playoff runs it's not the main guys yeah. everyone knows the main guys everyone's going to be prepared mm -hmm. to guard the main guys it's those role players that you know can yeah. go off and just do all the dirty work they don't care about the stats yeah. flashy plays and then uh, another guy on my team i don't alvin? think he's, i don't think he's an x-factor but alvin I gotta give a shout out to Alvin. Yep. Once he yeah. joined our team, changed everything for our roster match. Because he does everything that you guys yeah, like he's don't want to do. He guards yeah. the, the, all the bigs in, in the league, gets rebounds, pushes the pace, yeah. hitting threes now. Like that, he, that he is a, a Zebo for you guys. Yeah, where he's, he's a magician. Size, but you'll he never, plays you'll physical never that yeah. on, the, on the court. That's what I'm saying. So I gotta give a shout out to him, and then also Chris on the Warriors, man. 
Uh, those are the. I just think Anthony and Joe are gonna have the ball in their hands so often that they're yeah. gonna have that an imprint. And that's a no, this is not like a disrespect thing to Chris. He yeah. is a major part of what they do, yeah. Yeah. like defensively. Yeah, yeah, yeah like, like he's a I'm major saying. part. The games I've watched, like yeah. he guards the best player. Like he yeah. guarded me. He yeah. guards all the best players on, on yeah. the other team. I know Anthony and, and Joe offensively are, are, yeah. are yeah. you know carrying the load, but like defensively blocks rebounds help defense you know things you're not going to see on the stats mm -hmm. i think i think those uh, are the type of guys i'm Lou, worried about you're the stat guy he's up there for blocks isn't he i'm pretty sure he he's, is he's yeah. up there for blocks and steals like, yeah both of them yeah. he's in the double figures yeah, for, for so. both of them and he might might not even play eight games I don't yeah, think. yeah he played yeah. eight i think yeah, eight, yeah, eight, yeah it's eight, hard to tell yeah. with the warriors yeah. they got an attendance issue but he's yeah. su super yeah. important role player like those yeah. type of guys are the ones that are going to be the difference makers okay. in that series anything you guys want to say before we wrap this up yeah actually um, <laughs> He's like, yeah. Shout, shout, shout out to your, uh, your podcast comments uh, last two weeks ago, right? Oh, did I got rile him, you guys up? Yeah, no, 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 no. I thought I was going to say that. I got something to say about that. Yeah, yeah. okay. So my, my wife was watching the podcast with yeah. me. Uh huh. And uh, and so she hears you uh, mention, oh, I, I love to talk. Yeah, yeah. And she's like, oh, so it's on the court too. <laughs> and, uh, and I just want to correct. Yeah. I never am the first one to talk. <laughs> no, you. No, I no, think, no, yeah, I think no, I'm always quiet. Yeah, never. And yeah. then when someone starts talking to me, yeah. yeah, then I'm like, okay, you just, you know, it's like, yeah, that, yeah. it's like that Michael Jordan, yeah, yeah. Like, where he's like, that's all I needed. I, yeah, that's yeah. all right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, yeah. No, I, I agree. You're not the one that's gonna start it. Yeah. But you'll definitely be the one that finishes it. Yeah, I just, yeah. Yeah. I just wanted you to say that so that I could replay yeah. this for the wife later. Okay, okay, okay. Gotcha. <laughs> Get some brownie yeah. points. Okay, okay. <laughs> well, I know what's your beef with me? No, there's no, there's no beef. I think, I think we watched episode one, and you know. You, you were you were uh, i said you were a beast of a matchup yeah yeah i don't, I don't know i don't know I, I think i think we just were amped up for that for oh that, okay for i was like 10. yeah because after the game you're like yeah we we listened to the podcast i don't know i was, just, I was on my head like what i say what i was on one i was on one i was like he was on one for sure because uh he hit the three <laughs> uh -huh. and that video that came out that yeah yeah yeah, yeah, put out, yeah yeah uh where he's staring right yeah <laughs> and it's a tough video he hits a three walks back he's staring you stared at me. Yeah. I was like, I'm doing the score video. I'm yeah. like, what's this guy on? No, yeah. you're, you're, you're like a three pointer, and I was just staring at you. Yeah, I, was like, yeah. I was just on everyone. I was, I was yeah. just on one that game. You know what I mean? I was like, okay, okay. We yeah, got to come was, with that. I was in the back yeah. of my head. I was like, what the hell was I saying? No, say? I was telling him on silent when I hit another three. I looked at him like, we heard the pod. We heard the yeah, pod. Yeah, he's like, we like what did I even say? And I know. I was like, in my head, like, what did I say? I thought I called him a beast of a matchup. Yeah. So that's why when I was on, I made a cautious effort not to give any teams any you know ammunition. Yeah, yeah. Because. Cause you know any team can win this. And it's true. Yeah. yeah. Yo, and like, yeah, the podcast is good. You know, but we all yeah. have a healthy respect for everybody here. You know, oh, yeah. so I love it's it. Not like uh, Keisha's belief division. Yeah. When, uh, <laughs> particular one team that went undefeated and oh, because they, they just stacked. They, they were known to <laughs> win the championship before the season. So yeah. A lot of yeah. parody here. Yeah. 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 This, this is the now. this season definitely parody. A lot of parody. Yeah. So shout it's, out Keisha. So it's gonna be a good Shout one. It's gonna be a good Kisho. one. Uh, I'm not gonna go that. It's far. gonna be fun. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's wrap this up. Yeah, yeah, man. All so, right. Yeah, thanks, thanks for having us, yeah. and thanks we hope out. to be here next week. You know, we'll see if, yeah. if we'll we see. win. We'll see. We'll uh, see. Win or lose, <laughs> it seems, it seems like, we're gonna like, be. I'm gonna be here. It seems, it seems like it's the Hunger Games. You know, every yeah. week is a different two coming on. So. Exactly. Yeah, I'll, I'll be here regardless of outcome. Yeah, you and Lou will be here regardless, man. I'll just be salty. All right, thanks a lot, man. That was great. That was great.